It's the Chatham-Kent Home Builders Association's Parade of Homes, sponsored in part by Windmill Cabinet Shop and Owen Flooring Design Center. So a very exciting time for Chatham-Kent Home Builders Association. We are doing something different and we're kicking it off with you, Dave. Dave Ewald from Ewald Homes. It's the Parade of Homes and we are in one of your subdivisions here. Like you are, you are really expanding in this area. Tell me about it a little bit. That's right, Melissa. This is uh, the Harwood subdivision out on the Kyle Extension, out the uh, south end of Kyle Drive. It's a new subdivision backing onto all kinds of nice farmland, close to the 401. Many 60-foot lots, a lot of 50-foot lots, beautiful lots, crescent lots, fantastic place to live, all kinds of different style homes. You know what, that's what I loved about it when I actually drove into this subdivision was the proximity and the ease to get to places like the 401 and into Windsor. If you're going Windsor way, London way, it's just, it's very convenient and it's a really fresh new subdivision. So a lot of potential and you have a lot of green space out here still. When it's all done in a few years, it'll be a beautiful subdivision. There's lots of creek space and it's an exciting time for Chatham, I think. You know what I love about you, Dave, is that we had a conversation about the people that you work with. You've done this for more than a few years. You've been building homes for quite some time, <laughs> and you have a great relationship with all of your tradespeople. So let's first talk about the types of homes you build. So this, what would you qualify the house that we're in today? It's sold, yep. but he has other ones for sale, so it's okay. This particular house is, this is 171 Rosewood. This house is a, it's a rancher, approximately 2,000 square feet. The basement's fully finished. Um, it's a, one of my favorite plans, to be perfectly honest with you, I love it. Um, I actually built it for a good friend of mine years ago, and I've just continued to build it a few times as a model now. It's two bedrooms up, as I said. I think it, I think it pertains mainly to an empty nest or a retired couple, just because of the two bedrooms. It would suit a family with older kids, because you can put the teenage boys in the basement or kids in the basement. It's worth seeing. It's definitely worth a view. And then you've actually, in the subdivision, you have some other homes on the go, for example. So if this was for an empty nester, you have other houses. Tell me about those. Absolutely. We've got two-story lots. I like to put the two-story lot houses on a, a less deep lot. So there's a few shorter lots down here. We're putting two stories on those. A lot of the 60-foot lots, we can do whatever we want. We can put two stories on those, too, if you prefer. You get a huge lot that way. Um, the customer's always right. We'll, we'll do whatever the customer wants on these lots. It's, it, we're very open to uh, different ideas. So, and it strikes me as you work really well with your customers because and your clients because you've been doing this for quite some time. I do. I'm on site every day. I do the electrical walkthrough with my customers. I, I'm very immersed in the project. Probably too immersed, to be honest with you, but that's just how I've done it. I'm, and as you said, I've been doing this for a long time. So hands-on, let's talk about your suppliers and your sub-trades. First of all, our sponsors are actually have supplied a lot of the, the kitchen and yeah. the flooring. So tell me a little bit about, about some of the people that you've worked yeah, with. I work, I work very closely with Windmill Cabinets, Owen Flooring. All those guys are great friends of mine, not only business associates, but friends of mine as well. Um, I enjoy working with all of them. I enjoy going to see them at their, at their showrooms and working close, close with the boss, close with the salespeople, everything. I, I, I love every part of that deal. Uh, let's talk about some of the features and benefits. Kitchen. I love what would, what do you call that when you open up the cabinet? The walk in the hidden pantry. The hidden pantry. Okay, because yeah. I knew it's a pantry, but I wasn't sure it was, it, I was going to say it, right. it's hidden and yeah. you wouldn't know it's you necessarily know there. there. It's a fantastic place to put lots of food, put your kids in there when they're misbehaving. It's fantastic. <laughs> or hide and go see. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a great game for the little guns, yeah. Okay, so what are your most favorite parts of the, this particular house? I mean, when I'm going through the bathroom, for instance, the ensuite of course Owen oh, flooring that beautiful like marble like floor mm. and the um, just the the colors that were chosen to go through that are very rich and beautiful I'm glad you noticed that because as soon as you started the question when I first started building homes I think I was one of the first ones to ever do large showers and large walk-in showers they've they've come a long ways in the last 30 years but even my first house at myself I had a big huge shower that was different than everyone else and I've always kind of been proud of the fact that I, I, I've sort of pioneered this huge walk-in shower idea and this, the roll-in showers, the handicapped showers, they're, they're a fantastic asset to any house. And you don't have to be needing accessibility to plan in advance too, to have an accessible home, right. something like that, or to have a larger shower. Well, we t I, try to, I try to think of that ahead of time, actually, the larger doors, wherever it's possible. Some plans don't allow for it, but you know, why not? If you can fit a wheelchair through a 34-inch door and you got room for it, why not put a 34-inch door in a bathroom? It only makes sense, especially in these ranchers. And especially so you can stay in your home longer. Absolutely. Where you're going to be a yeah. heck of a lot happier. Yeah. I've renovated lots of homes to make them handicap accessible. 
And it, it just, it, a lot of times it's not necessary. You just do it on, at the start. Do you find as a builder now that you just, even with an aging population, it's better to think in advance for that? It's obviously more cost effective. Oh, for sure it is. And not only that, the people don't want to be displaced into a new home when they're, you know, as they're getting older and they're not as, as mobile, let's face it. So if we can make their homes last five or 10 years longer, it's fantastic. Okay, so some more of your suppliers. We've talked a bit about the kitchens. We've talked about the flooring. Even Owen Flooring did some work in the basement as well. Um, some of the stonework, I believe? Yeah, we, on this particular house, we bought the, the fireplace stone for two of them from Owen Flooring. They, they have a great assortment of fireplace stone as well, like the veneer stone. Uh, the stone on the actual house is from Sentara in Windsor. Uh, they fantastic company to deal with they've got all kinds of assortment of stone and things they actually supplied veneer stone for the outside fireplace on the back deck yeah you have to you've done a really great job of building that outdoor living space and when the i can just picture it um, you were mentioning that people that have purchased this house have landscapers coming and they're already visualizing that looking out in you know a beautiful fireplace and you've got a covered deck out here like it's yeah and even the fan like you've thought of everything yeah it's great i can just see sitting out here you know, there's going to be a TV over the fireplace, watching a hockey game and seeing the, the you know, the field out back as the sun goes down. It's, it's going to be a great setting. They're going to be, they're pretty excited about it. Oh, amazing. Okay, so, and then some of your plumbers, like taps and yep. sinks and everything. Let's talk about that. Uh, we, this particular house, everything came from Chatham Tubs and Taps. Um, they have an unbelievable showroom. It's, it's great to send a customer in there, and it's a pleasure because they're fun guys. And if, you know, if you look at their Instagram, it's, it's hilarious. I think that's part, that's part of the fun though, is that the fun of sending your clients to certain places to have to pick out what they need to pick out. That's part of the adventure and the journey. Right, well, you hear all kinds of horror stories about don't ever build a custom home. It's just a nightmare. There's so many decisions. If you can, like I always think if I can just spend a few extra hours with these people, even extra days to make that enjoyable, they're gonna tell their friends, they're gonna say it was an enjoyable process and the business will just keep coming and it seems to be working. And it's, it's just solid project management. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And it makes it easier for me too if I'm in on the ground floor and I'm here to make the decisions, then I remember these things. And you're there when they've made the decision, so you're having that conversation and a good relationship with you them got too. It for sure. Excellent. Okay, have I missed anything in here that you want to feature and focus? Uh, we've talked about your subdivision, things coming up, uh, it's, and it's a busy season now. Things are revving up once again, and I think you're the, I know your phone's been ringing off the hook, <laughs> and I know you had to put it on silent because it kept ringing while we were trying to do this. <laughs> the only other trade I'd like to mention is Oldershaw Building Supply. They supplied all the trim in this house, they supplied the furniture in the walk in closets. Definitely worth a shot going in there and having a look at what they've got to offer as well. Fantastic. So the big question is, what's the best place or where is the best uh, place to reach you and to contact you? Uh, well, my website or email, dave at ewaldhomes.com or my cell, number, my cell number is on all my signs in the subdivision, so I'm easily accessible. It's easy to find me. Okay, and we've got the signage out front, so you can't miss Dave at Ewald Homes. Dave, what a great way to kick off our parade of homes. I couldn't think of a better way. Thank you so much for sharing your home, the space, and the subdivision with us awesome. today. Thanks, Melissa. Appreciate it. You've been watching the Chatham-Kent Home Builders Association's Parade of Homes, sponsored in part by Windmill Cabinet Shop and Owen Flooring Design Center.